you're, you're, you're growing risks in this house. You think I'm your mate? Can you, can you see that this little rat? Because I gave you the liberty to do anything in this house. That's why you have the nerve to come and ask me if I'm your that or not. Don't worry. Very soon you will go and look for that your mother. I will send you to go and look for her. Let me see where you will find her. Who says you? crying. Huh. Why are you crying? What is it? Are you hungry? Did anyone hurt you? Dad. Angel. Who is my real mother? Angel, I'm surprised at your question. Listen, did your mother tell you that she's not your mother? Daddy, I asked a question. All I need is answers. Angel, Angel, um, she's your mother. I mean, she's been your mother from birth. No. If truly she's my mother, she won't be doing this to me. It's okay. Why do you hate our daughter Sharon so much? Answer me! Baby, I don't hate Sharon. I mean, she's my only child. How can I hate her? What do you mean? How can you hate her? I said, why do you hate our daughter so much? Baby, all I do is put her through life for her own future. That's all. Put her through life, you said? By making her cry all the time, hurting her all the time? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Oh! How dare you walk out of me? How can you hate your own daughter, your own flesh and blood? Hey baby, you cry in your room for nine months? Mary, come back here. Mary! It's finally good to meet you. This doesn't answer my question. I said, who are you? Oh, <laughs> I am Ivy's younger sister. Hi! I said it. No wonder. Something was just so urgent in me to come visit my son. Come, come, come. So this girl has brought her sister to finish my son's money. <laughs> Mama! Mama, you're welcome. Uh, Mama, have your seat. Let me take your things inside. No, no, it's okay. You can sit down. Okay, Mama, you can sit down. Okay. Mama, how are you? How is everybody over there? How is Papa? How is everybody? That's fine. Okay, Mama, come inside and change. You just got back. No, no, no. Let me just relax first. And um, where's my son, Benson? Mama, Mama, come and change first. Just come in. No, I, I am comfortable. Just tell me where he is. 
Okay. Don't be aware how he's faring, where he is. Okay, my husband traveled. Okay, but he'll be back soon. Can I take your things inside now? Let me no, take. No, no, no. I'll be please. I'm begging you. What is going on? What is wrong with you? How? There's no changes anywhere in you. I've not seen the, any changes in you since the last time I visited. I've not seen anything. Are you alright? I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I don't You're know. You're perfectly fine. Yes, perfectly fine. I've not seen any perfect in you. No perfection anywhere. No changes. Your skin has not changed to any color. Not even two colors like it's supposed to be. Like some black, some fair. Nothing. Mm -hmm. you, 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 your stomach is very, still very fat, flat. This stomach is still very flat. Are you telling me there's no child in that womb? No, when have I offended you? Do you know how many years now? Five good years and I've not seen anything in you. Nothing to show for it. Everything you have been doing is just like that. Or is it not well done? Or no, I let you know. Let me get with nothing is in your womb. Eh? In a queen Naja. Leave me alone. What is it? I'm not it's just leave me. Where are you going to? No, where are you going? That place you are rushing to. Is it what you put maybe in that your stomach? That place you are entering. I'm not playing. I didn't come for play this time around. The other time we talked very well. We discussed, discussed like woman to woman. This time around, I will supervise everything. Let me know what is going on. Five good years. Nothing to show for it. Eh? My son will be suffering one night to night. And nothing. And you will dress, package yourself. With how many phones in your hands? Those phones in your hands. I get the children that you, you will give me. You will admit to me. Go in! No problem, just go in. Nonsense. If I see you come out of here, get out of Get away here. Get out! Get out! I don't want to see you. Get out! I don't know who you are. What is she coming to say? What are you going to say? Are you Ivy? Hey, Mama, who sent you? Are you my problem? Come out from that door again. Let me know what your name is. Where are you? Come and give me my slippers also. What do you say your name is? Come and bring that slippers. Stupid girl. What are you still doing at home? Are you not supposed to be in the shop by this time? I was inside doing my assignment. Go to the shop. This one is too much. I said start going to the shop. Okay, I want to take mine. Move! Oh. Sir. Sir, you're welcome. I know I was up today. Why is my mother sleeping on the chair with her back? You couldn't even take her bag inside. Um, sir, we wanted to take the bag inside, but she refused. Even my auntie, Auntie Ivy, also wanted to help her, but she asked us not to. I don't know why. It's alright, I'll just take this inside. Okay. Hey. 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 You're back. Yes. Welcome. How was work? Oh, work is fine, Mama, but uh, the very night. Uh, did you be sleeping with your bag? I, I expected your call, but you didn't call. I even had to call your boat lines, but none was available. Yes, my son, you're right. The normal phone, the one you always call, went off even before I left the house. And when I arrived here, I realized the other second phone is off too. And you know I cannot talk to your mom friend that you kept at home for assistance to uh, ask her for a charger. I can't talk to her. Mama, you will be doing this right now. Isn't it too early? Am I not sleeping when you walk to It's okay. How is my wife? Has she given you something to eat? Well, I know. Sit. Food. Water. Nobody offered me anything. And you know how I have all these things in my house. I have plenty of water. Plenty of food, food filled my freezers. But in your house, I was not offered anything. And I began to wonder if there was none at home. I know my wife. Let me take your bag inside. She will get you something to eat. Okay. okay. And Bessie, about your mom friend wife that you kept at home, I was wondering if uh, everything was right. After five minutes. My mom called me. Hmm. <laughs> 
Elle est so bien parfaitement right. Ok. Je pense pas merci. What is it? And Yes. She beats me again. How can a mother be putting her child through this every day? Something is wrong somewhere. Sorry. It's okay. I'll talk to your mother, I promise, okay? And Rita? Yes. Can I ask you something? Okay. Go ahead. Yes. Is she my real mother? Were you there when she was giving birth to me? First, she's your real mother. And second, I was with her in the hospital when your dad came to pick us and brought us home. She's your real mother, okay? Then why is she treating me like this? I don't know, maybe she has a reason. I don't worry, everything is going to be fine. I promise I'll talk to her. Okay? Yeah, let's go. I'll buy you chocolate. You want chocolate? Oh, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I, Sharon, can go to your room now. Come on, meet you. Sharon, go to your room. Let me discuss with Auntie Rita. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, but wait, Rita, I hope you're not coming for money because I gave you money last week. No, no, brother. It's not, it's not about money. Brother, please, I want to know. Have you done anything wrong to your wife that makes her love to see Sharon in so much pain? I I just can't tell why a mother will hate her own blood like that. Rita. Sir. That same question have been searching for answers. But I can't still find them. Brother, you need to speak to your wife. You need to talk to her before Sharon will end up hurting herself in life. And besides, I'm not in the position to talk to her. And your younger sister. It's okay, Rita. I'll, I'll do something about that. I'll fix it. You can go to your room. But Rita, promise me, you'll forever do everything for my daughter to be happy. Please. Brother, you can count on me always. What is it? Mom. Don't tell me you've been sleeping since I left the house. Mom, she knows me and I think I know her too. You mean to tell me that you saw her in your dream again? This time around, what were you doing? You were playing or singing or fighting. Which one? Mom, there's something you need to tell me about myself. I have told you several times, you are not a twin. You are my only child. Mom, see, there's something I really need to know about myself. It's like something is wrong with you. Eh? 
I've told you this several times. You are my only child. It's okay, sweetheart. I've heard all what you've said. I'll try and just, I don't know. I'm just tired. You don't understand. You needed to see the way she. I tried to welcome her, I tried to be nice to her, I... She just... And it's okay. Uh -huh. Listen, I... Don't you say a word. Preferably, you walk away. Ignore who? Ignore your mother. Ha! Ah. So, so, why are you talking like you don't know mama? Mama, I should walk away from mama. Hmm. So that you now start complaining that I walked out on her. Ha! Ah. Then you become a statue. Oh? Don't say a word. The woman is tired of talking, she will definitely keep her right. I think that's the best one. That's the best. I've heard you. And this one you said, that's exactly what I would do. I would just keep her quiet, ignore her, and act like I'm not even hearing what she's saying. Beautiful. Meanwhile, this. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. I, love I it. know, right? Especially for you. I know you see this kind of stuff. Do I cook this very one? I know you don't joke with it. You know I have different pattern of cooking still. This one is a special. Especially for you. Exactly. <laughs> so, mm. how was work today? You told me about who got the contract with that guy. The work was fine, but the contract. Mm -hmm. Just allow me to enjoy this with you. After that, we'll talk about it. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> you want some? Look at the food I dropped for you. You haven't even touched it yet. I'm not worried about food. The safety of my daughter in this house worries me. How you choose to treat our daughter worries me. But baby, our daughter is fine. She's okay. Is that what you think? By hurting her all the time? Is that it? Baby, I'm not hurting her. I'm just correcting her as her mother. I'm in the right place to do that. You know what? Mary, I don't have your time yet. But when I do, you tell me your position in this house. Excuse Baby, me. Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. God, why am I even hurting my own child? A girl I carried in my womb for nine months. No matter what, I'm not supposed to hurt her this much. Baby, I'm sorry. Where's the fruit I just Go to. Daisy, are you the one now serving me? Uh, yes, Mama. I see IP is busy in the room. You must be very stupid. Why can't your so-called auntie serve me? What is she doing in the room? I mean, what is keeping her in that room? That she can't serve me? So, uh, what's... Uh, Ma, please, I'm sorry. Please manage. Eh? I'm busy inside. I'm trying to tidy up your place. Just manage, okay? I should manage what? So your sister is the one now serving me? When I need something. Is that what you're telling me? No, Mama. I'm just busy inside. You can help you. It doesn't change anything. Please. <laughs> I simply ask for fruit. Yeah? Mama, but it doesn't make any difference if I serve you the fruit or until I eat Really? Okay, drop the fruit in. Put your fruit here. Oh, Mama. Stupid girl. I am talking and you are talking. Hello, Mama. Ah, oh, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take, go inside. Monkey. Mama, that was too harsh. She's just trying to. Don't put it in my head. Keep it here. Anyway, I don't think I want to eat this food anymore. Mama, why are you? I want to eat solid food. I want a goosey soup and pandoyam. 
That's what I want to eat. No, please, you just have to manage this one. There's no Egusi soup and pandetia. Besides, I don't have strength. And we don't even have the ingredients in the house. You don't have strength. Are you breastfeeding a child? Or are you pregnant? I said my sister wants pando yam and a goosey soup. Hot one. That's what I want, I want to eat. Since you can make uh, uh, any fruit available for me. Mama, you asked for fruit. I brought fruit for I don't you. know what it is. I just told you that you are looking like the fruit. Mama, please, 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 please. please. I don't have, there's no ingredients to do. Manage it. Okay, tomorrow I'll, I'll make that for you. But today, manage this or any other food we have in the house. I can't make this. We don't even have the ingredients. So I, come back. Come back. Here. Come back. Mama, this mama please. I don't you have to take this. Mama, please. Take this food. Mama, 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 come back here. Come back here. Hey! I can't believe what is happening. Eh, what is this? She asked me for a fruit. I said, anything good. No popo. No gova. What is this? Eh? Watermelon. Ivy! Auntie Ivy, I want to ask you something. What, what is it? What is the problem? Auntie Ivy, why is it that your mother in law is wicked to me in this house? Have I wronged her in any way or have I offended her? Daisy, are you the only one she's talking to me about? Did you not see the way she spoke to me just, just after I finished sending food for her? You're not the only one. Just as she is, so she's very troublesome. What I need you to do now is just ignore her because that's what my husband asked me to do. Ignore her, let her just stay for the time she wants to stay and carry her around and go back to wherever she's coming for. Even me, I'm tired. It's heavy. Me, I can't move and look at you. I can't move and look at you. Just look at my face. See, see my face. Look at my face. Eh? Ever since she came to this house, we have not had peace of mind. Is she the only mother I know in this world? She's not to my sister. She's not to. She's just troublesome. I don't understand. What kind of mother is this? I just match the way she she she, she slapped you for that I respect my, my husband. Both of us would have gathered and pizza. It's because I respect I'm, I'm respecting my husband. My husband said I should just overlook her and just ignore her. I feel so bad for you. Eh? Just call me, come here to come and hit my sister for what? Just like that. What is that one? It's my fair face. She won't be spoiling for me. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. God be Georgia. It's okay. Hope he's not paying me too much. It's paying me. It's this man is wicked, sorry. But eh? I said my own. Sorry, it's okay. Ignore her, eh? Ignore her, ignore her oh, please. Ignore her. Oh. I don't want to have a problem with my husband because of you. People may have ignored her because of my husband. Else, you know now. Nah. <clears throat> she doesn't know us. That woman that came to look for Mama the other time. Did you remember how we beat that one? Oh? <laughs> that one was even bigger than, bigger than this woman. We beat that one all. Oh. Because That's of my husband. What? Oh. She doesn't know now. <laughs> It's okay, just ignore it. Mm, for now, I'm here to find out the hidden truth. What hidden truth? What do you mean? That she's not your mother? Until then. My dear, it's okay. I understand your pain. I am sorry for all the pains you have been going through in the hands of your mom. My brother, your dad, is doing everything possible to break changes. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. It's so good. Well, your promises don't work on me anymore. Hey, <laughs> Yes. There's this thing that has been happening in my life. Okay. I don't know what to call it. Happiness or pain. This happiness or pain in your life. Oh yeah. Spill it out. I'm all ears. Okay. There's this girl. Which happens to be my twin. Your twin? Yes, in um, my dream. Mm -hmm. In your dream? Yes, we do a lot of fun things together. And you haven't told anyone about it? No, I haven't told anyone about it yet. For years now. This is serious. Sharon, you have your spirit friend. Auntie Rita, didn't you hear me? I said, twin. In the dream, she calls me her twin or sister. I was the one with your mom in the hospital. She didn't give birth to two. I only saw one. That's you. So, twin. 
Sharon have a spirit friend. <laughs> oh. Auntie Rita, I just said twin. No, we look alike. <laughs> we look alike. I'm saying, Sharon, this your joke is very expensive. Auntie, I'm serious. I keep having the same dream since for years. Same age with you. Uh huh. And you, the both of you, look alike. Exactly. There's nothing missing. <laughs> this is serious. What do we do? We need to find a solution to this, your spirit friend. Because it's not a good one. Are you sure? But she seems nice though. Oh, she seems nice though. Ah, why come my daughter? How was the exams today? My exam was cool and nice. Your grandma called and said she will be coming by next week. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. That means I'll ask her that question. Are you mad? Which question again? I want to know the question I'll be asking you if I have the twins in fact. That's good. She's not coming again. Mom, but you know you cannot let to me. My friend, take this key. Go and do some food in the pot and eat. What do you cook? Your head. Yeah. It's for a grandchild. Only grandchild. Give me a grandchild. I you cannot. Is this too much of a thing for you? Is this too much of a thing for you to do for me? All I ask from you, Mr. I.D., is give me a grandchild now that I'm alive. Mama, Mama, please let me be. Children are heritage from God. Exactly, my dear. When it is my time, God will give me children. Just let me be. Oh, so when is your time? Mr. I.B., I ask you, when is your time? You want me to die before you give birth to one? Who will not carry that one that you give birth to? Eh? Don't allow me to die before you do. Mama. I have faith in God. You are not God. Oh, so allow God to give me a child in his own time and let me be. Let me drink water and drop God. Let me breathe in my husband's You child. can't breathe nothing. You cannot breathe anything. There's no rest for the wicked. What is it? You are very wicked. Are you God? Are you God? Since you know the potentials in the Bible, use that same potentials to give me a child. Let that time be now. Give me one. Give me a grandchild that I can carry in my arms now that I'm alive. Leave me alone, Mama. I will have which you want me to die before you give me one. Let me yeah. breathe and drink water in my own husband's house. Let me breathe, Mama. Leave this house is your husband's house. Give me a child. Let me give me a child. Let me breathe. You don't have to breathe. Let me Stop give me my husband's house. Call him 24 in your yeah. hand. What are you doing with them? Instead of seeking for solution how to get pregnant. On that poorly phone, breathe. What are you breathing? You're supposed to stop breathing. When you stop breathing, maybe that kind of child will come. Eh? There's no rest for the wicked. We are wicked and we will not find rest. Husband, they are you. What are you doing? Yeah. You are watching television? Yeah. Useless thing. Good for nothing, idiot. Since you entered this house, tell me one good thing that you have ever done. Nothing. Only sit and idle away on television and other things. Your sister is sitting in her husband's house and you also sit. Look at dust everywhere. You can't clean, you can't sweep, you can't mop, you can't wash, you can't cook. You are useless. You are useless. Don't get out of here, get out of my sight also. See, Stupid thing. See, Mama, this thing that you are doing to Auntie Ivy, they are doing to your daughter in law. It's not fair. The way you are treating her, it's not, it's not fair at all. It's not fair. Mama, it's not fair. Are you my daughter? No. Mama, 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 the only problem I have with her is giving me a grandchild. But you, I can't even manage you. I can't tolerate you for one minute. You are so lazy and so useless. 
go back to the village where you came from. This place is not for you. Hey, there's nothing I will not see. Eliza Douglas. Eh? I am talking. This one I just they just fished out from the village. He's not talking back to me like a monkey. This thing you are doing. I've tried several to ask grandma about my dream. But she's not giving me light. She's not responding. Mom, but I really want to know what those dreams are all about. Like, did I have a sister? Am I to it? Because I've been seeing her in my dreams. Mommy told me. Okay, do you do you sell my sister? Do you give it to anybody? I want to know. My daughter. I don't understand your question. Mommy, you, please. You are not a twin. I gave birth to you alone. Okay, who is my father? I want to know. Your father is late. My father is late? Yes. What killed him? He was sick. Sick? Yes. Okay, what kind of sickness? And how long did sickness take? Are you mad? I said he was sick. I want to know who my father is. Your father is late, I'm telling you. I'm your mother. If there is anything you have to know about your father, I will tell you. But now he's late. Mom, please, I want to know who my father is. I want to see my father. My dear, your father is late. That's the only thing I have to tell you. Oh, God. Since my mother don't like me, why don't she tell me who my real mother is? Because I don't think that I'm her real child. See, she's your real mother. Just that she's not kind of person. But believe me when I said you're a blessing to your mom and dad, especially your dad. I know that for sure. But my so-called mother, she doesn't. And you should always know that father's love for their daughter is always greater than that of their mom. And you know I love you too. Atiuta, what can I do to make my mom just like me? I am seriously praying for you. And you could you know what you do for me. So before going to bed every night, always put your mom in prayer. So because I really can't explain it. She's kind to me and she's cold hearted towards you. So that means it's not her lifestyle. So God will touch her heart to change towards you. That's the only thing I can say because I've done everything I could. Okay. Alright, will you do that for me? Only God knows what my husband must have told his mother. But he left earlier today. Hey, no man's trouble. For to have leave this house without saying word to me means my husband must have told her something. What did he say to her? God, I don't know. God, God, please, please hear my cry. God, please hear my cry. Eh? Years of marriage with nothing to show for it. God, God, you are not sleeping. I save you. I pay my tithes. I pray to you. I do everything to you. Why am I childless? I've been to the hospitals, different hospitals, different doctors. They said I am all right. So where is this problem coming from? Or is this for my husband? Huh? Or is it from, from my village people? I'm sorry. Ha. Why did you tell me like that? What is it? I have been standing here for over two minutes now. And you have been talking to yourself. I hope all is okay. Have you been standing here? Yeah, I have. Oh, my sister, I'm just thinking about something. Everything is fine. Just you are me. sure everything is fine? Yes. <laughs> if it's the bad mama, you don't have to allow anything that mama is saying get to you. Me? Mm. You, just, you just need peace of mind, calmness, enjoy your marriage. At the appointed time, at the right time, you will carry your own baby. So please, I don't want anything to stress you out. Please. Thank you. 
Thank you. You know you've been. If you're not in this house now, God knows I'll just be thinking, keep thinking my life and first. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to talk to you. Come on. That's how you keep me. I'm here to always make you happy. My? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, please get me a cold glass of juice to drink. Okay. Right away. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, oh, that's on me. It's a long story. Cut it short. <laughs> Ma, you know, I'm Jude the dreamer. Uh -huh. So inside the dream, uh -huh. I'm robber. Wanted to carry my gaff car. Uh -huh. Then I stopped them. <laughs> they did not move. And then I have stopped them. That is where I wake up. Do you know you're very stupid? So under the scorchy sun, you are sleeping. Do you know the sign of that? Yes, ma. Of Afidi. It's a sign of poverty. Now, where is my daughter Sharon and why is the gate open? Um, the gate I have not have opened and uh, Sharon have been inside. Do you know you're very stupid? Because I'm just coming from inside and Sharon is not there. Madam, you have not have checked on where. Sharon have been inside. Because since I have day this gate here, she have not have come out. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Because if I as much as look for my daughter. But then you will not have looked for your. You will not have looked for your daughter. How you did come and leave me, sir? Um, it too. Where shall we go? And who opened this? Who opened this gate? I cannot be say, waiting, my daughter have talk is you have true. Really, I'm just, just thinking about you and your, your situation. Is food ready? Yes, when you're ready to eat, I'll serve the table. Um, I, was, I was meaning to ask you, what did you tell Mama that Mida left this morning? She's my mother, and I always have my way of talking to her. You see, the problem we have here it's just to know how to tackle our childlessness. That's easy. You know, trusting in God and doing the right thing, not the other way around. I just, I just wish he realizes that. That's, it's God that gives children. But it's just there's, that. There's no God. There's no God. Okay. Listen, when your mother in law is talking to you, I think that the best thing to do there is just to calm down and listen to her. How many years of marriage without a child do you expect Mama to just keep quiet as if nothing happened? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to blame me now? Like, how is this I, my fault? I, I am not. I am not blaming you. I never blamed anybody. Do you understand me? That's what you just did, baby. You just did it now. You said. You're actually taking sides. Are you, you know that? Are you going to drop this now? I am not taking any sides. Okay? 
Please, let's just drop this conversation. Let's change this topic. If the food is ready, I would like to eat now. Fine. I'll get your food. Mary, I need answers and it must be now. I told you I do not have a problem with my child. You lie. You lie. Is it that you hate the fact that you are a mother? Or you just hate seeing our daughter around? Oh wait, did the nurse at the hospital exchange our child? I should be asking you that because I was not aware of that time. No, when I came to the hospital, I met your friend, Blessing. I did. With my baby, right? No, with the one I saw you with. Which I don't know if it's actually our child. You had the nerve to talk about that? And all these years you've been calling her sweet names, petting her, all that. Please, my darling husband, I don't have the time to talk about this. Can you just let me be? No, I will let you be. Look, I don't want to talk about this right now. I don't want to talk about it at all. So no, we must talk about it. I said I don't want to talk about it. We must talk about it. I do not want to talk about it. Ha! Mary! Listen, we must talk about it. Did you come to my house to change my mood or what? Please, if you don't know what to say, just shove it. I don't want to hear that guy's name in your mouth again. Um, Mary, please, you and I knew the truth. Stop saying all these things that you're talking about. Stop it. What truth are you talking about exactly? Okay, fine. The ben I saw Ben Sin yesterday. Right. In a hotel. I saw him with one other man like that. As I was about leaving the hotel, they were coming inside. But they didn't see me. Oh, thank goodness. Look, at this point, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who's Benson. I've never had that name before. So please, should in case he comes around me, I don't know him. And if he sees you tomorrow, you don't know where I am. So that is just it. Please, let this thing slide. <sighs> Mary, you can deny it for all I care. But mind you, any day Benson sets his eyes on you, he will definitely ask of his... Can you, can you just calm down? What is all this now? Please, can you stop? Look, he cannot come into my family and destroy my home. So I don't know him. So please let this, let this whole thing end here. If, if, if you don't want to talk about something else, let me go upstairs and so you can go. You can choose, you can choose to leave for all I care. But well, mind you, any day Benson sees you, it would be a different ball game entirely. I promise you. Baby girl, you know what I'm talking about. Let's stop pretending here. The truth will definitely come out. The earlier you accept it, the better. There will be no way forward less to this. You have to tell me here and now. What does your friend bless you know about my friend? The last time I can remember, you have never been happy since you had me. Yes, mommy. Who are my real parents? And where are they? Are you done? Yes. If I hear another word from your mouth, you will regret having me as your mother. It's not the first time you've seen it. I'm used to it already. Get out of here right now. Get out! Sharon. Come, come, let's get to your room. I want to share something. Hmm? Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come, let's go. You, you like what I'm showing? I'm coming. Are you sure you're okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, no, let's go. Stand up, don't be a lazy game. Are you feeling sleepy?
God, please come to my rescue and send and save me from this mess, God. Should I tell my husband? But how do I even start with a story? If I eventually tell him what happened, I'm bound to lose my home. No. No, my, my home is paramount to me. It's very, very important to me. I cannot bear to lose it. I just, I just have to find a way and be good to my, to my beautiful angel because that's all I can do. She deserves some peace and happiness from her mother. But why do I remember the past incident whenever I look at her face? God in heaven, please. Please help me, God. I beg of you. Yes, yes, I... I'm home now. Thanks for the treat. Yeah, I'll call you back when I'm... Mr. Peter, let me call you back. Mary! Is everything all right? Yes, I'm. I'm fine. No, you don't look fine. What is it? Baby, I'm fine. Did you come back with your car? No, bye. I I parked outside. Oh, you're welcome. Babe, what's bothering you? Nothing is bothering me. Um, but I was actually thinking out loud. Maybe I should take Sharon for shopping or a movie, or for an ice cream. Wait, what change? I mean, I I wasn't expecting you to take her for shopping. I know, but I feel that's the right thing to do. Babe, are you sure everything is all right? Yes, baby, I just want to make it up to her, that's all. Okay, <laughs> um, maybe we should do it like a family thing. Let me, let me just change and we go together what about that um let me think if we're going to have a girl's time or if dad is going to join us you have to bribe me with a kiss oh a kiss mm -hmm. come here, come here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay now you can come with us oh okay but let me go tell her let me tell her <laughs> I'm waiting! Wow. This is... This is some good news. Wow. Sharon. Do you know what? I, I'm still thinking about your mom's decision of taking you out for shopping. Mm. There's no need for you to think because I'm not going anywhere. Who knows that as a way of showing you that she's a good mother and not a bad one? Good mother? Do you know her mind? I don't know what I am saying. In fact, I am confused and still thinking. It is no need for you to be confused because me, I'm not going anywhere. So what do we have to do? Nothing. Mimi. Follow me. I just wish I can follow you to Asaba. I really wish I can follow you to that place because that um, contract seems like what would take time. Eh? Oh, I see. So who is talking about? Engineer Ivy. <laughs> 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 well, um, I've, I've gone there. I've seen the place. It's a very nice place. Okay, but uh, 
Uh, what I'm just waiting for is to hear from the man then I'll okay, go. Mm. But you've not spoken in a suburb before, so how do you know it's a nice place? Like, I mean, even if you've been there, but you've not worked there, you don't know how the work will take, what time, how long it will take. Honey, you worry too much. Even though I've not worked in a suburb, you've not been to a suburb. Have you? I know the area very well. Uh -huh. You've been to a suburb before? Of course. Mm -hmm. I've even spent quality time there. You have? Yes. Really? Yeah, when was that? There is this uh, friend of mine, Nate. It's yeah. friend of yours? He was he was lived in Nasaba. So I was visiting him from time to time. That was before I got married to you, though. Hmm. It's been quite long. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay then. Please, when you go there, just take care of yourself. And please, please be careful of the girls over there. Don't carry any girl. Don't allow <laughs> them to look at you and start cutting their eyes for you. Hey, hey. Let them but not cut their eyes for you. If they cut their eyes, throw away your face. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. Okay, you know what? I, I will not carry you. I promise you. Are you but sure? I, yes, I, I can be carrying maybe one girl, one girl. Ah! <laughs> that means you will not come to this no, house. No, 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 don't you will not come to this house. <laughs> but, but you know I don't even know. think of it. But you know I can. You know what? I love my wife so much. I'm mm -hmm. comfortable with my wife. I know. Yes, so are your swine. This is your dream. Who do you tell you to do that? I think um daddy. No, that's not right. I think you should tell the both of them at once. So you can ask them if you are a twin or not. What do you think? Now let's go now so we know how to approach it. Let's go. So you are here? And I've been calling inside, and you refuse to answer me. Mom, who am I? I did not know who I am in this house. You are my daughter. Is that okay? But who is that guy I told you about? Which kind of mad question is that? That is it. Have you started again? <sighs> you are lying to me. Because that guy says she's my sister. She says she's my blood sister, Mom. My dear, I don't have answer to that your question. I've told you and I will keep on telling you. You are my only daughter. That's it. My dear, <laughs> you need to be very careful while asking these questions. So, so your mom will be angry with you. And you tell it's just a question to know the facts. That is why I am telling you to be very careful. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hmm. It's like your back. Yeah, I, I had the car. The car home. I'll be very careful while asking that question. Okay, let's go. Go where? Please, let's go upstairs. No, I, I, I can go and ask since daddy said to me. I'm going to ask since. Come, let's go now. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Sharon! What is she doing though? Big yeah. bro. Sharon said she's not coming and that she's not in a good mood. That auntie here has something to tell her. What is that? Uh, auntie, please, I want to ask you something. Okay. Does Sharon have a twin sister? Are you insane? Are you are you going nuts? Why would you ask me that kind of question? Oh, I see. So you have been the one pacifying her, right? You have been the one putting ideas into her head. Instead of you to talk to her as an elderly person, you discuss my daughter behind my back. Babe, 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 please calm down. Calm down, okay? Please. Don't tell me to calm down. Are you not here listening to what she's saying? How can you ask me that kind of question? Are you telling me to calm down? Babe, babe, please, please calm down. We can, we can... Are you still standing there? We can talk Are you still standing there? 
listen to me. Listen to me. Babe, honestly, I'm confused. Yes. Maybe you have something to tell us. About our daughter. Please tell me. Is she a twin? I, I need to know. Please tell me. Really? You're really asking me that? You promised to credit me now. What's up? I've not seen the credit alerts. Yes, now. Wire me the stuff. Credit me. I've not seen it. Oh, you think I've got him? I'm here. Uh, how did you know that I'm here? Okay, the nurse at the front desk told me that you're outside. I'm not. Mm. Where's my baby? Oh, while you were sleeping, the nurse actually took the baby upstairs just to clean her up. And I also called your husband. He's on his way. He's coming to take us home. Ah, yes. Are you sure he will come? Because I think he said he was going to come tomorrow. No, he will. I've spoken with him on phone. He just told me that he will come and pick us. Right. Hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. just okay. Okay. Babe, I'm sorry about this. I didn't know about it until now. But I will talk to my sister about it and also our daughter and convince her far to believe that you are our biological mother. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Why are you sleeping and you are smiling to yourself? Me smiling to myself? No, I'm not too. I'm not, I'm not smiling. So I'm blind. I did not see you smiling to yourself. No. Eh? Hey, uh -huh, mom. That day make her bought something. He asked me to come to the compound to take the money. I'm coming. Go, go and collect my money. Eh? Uh -huh. How can someone be sleeping? And you keep on smiling to yourself. What is it? What is even wrong with this girl? I hope it's not that dream again, no. I hope it's not that dream again. Smiling with a person called her twin sister. I don't know. I don't even want to know. Eh? Mother no give the name, Mary. Eh? Hmm. She naked. Yes. You know, I've been calling your your bot numbers, but they are all switched off. Of course, I'm in town. Yeah, no, no it, wasn't, it wasn't that stressful. Uh, any moment from now, I'll be starting work, sir. All right, sir. Okay, thank you. Where? I saw that. I think I need to go out and, um, you know. This one, Mary, is even calling me. Honestly, I'm not even interested in these their family issues now. Since she's not ready to tell the husband the truth, she should just take me out of this trouble. I'm no longer interested. Anyway, let me go with my car. Oh, well, this car is there too. Let me hurry, go outside and get a cap.
things are now in the kitchen and your soup, vegetable soup. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's finished, baby. So I need to go to the market tomorrow. Okay. So how much do you need? Um, you know you complain of snail. So I need to buy lots of snails. So Babe, need... how much do you need? Uh, uh, okay, like 50k is okay. I'll make it 100. Okay. Oh, your friend is here. Oh, oh. Lyson, how are you? Mr. Kelvin, yeah. good evening, sir. Lyson, how are you? I'm fine. How is the family, sir? Mary, how are you? <laughs> Honey, hmm? let me leave you ladies to do ladies talk. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, baby. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. Let's sit down now. He's not going to sit down. I saw him. <gasps> Bessie, why are you telling me that Benson is in town? <laughs> Mary, you're sounding somehow. You should be thanking God that he didn't even see me. Why should I be thanking God that he didn't see you? Anyway, that's not my business. What should I do now? Are you asking me? I remember telling you to terminate that pregnancy, but you refused. And now you're asking me what to do. Oh, really? Yes. Let me tell you something. I cannot allow that idiot to come into my family. He cannot come into my marriage and destroy it. And for the for, for the records, Sharon is not his daughter. <laughs> That's left for you. But mind you, if he gets to find out where you're living, he will definitely trace you to his disgrace. I really have to do something. Hey, hold on. In case he sees you anytime, do not try to bring him to my house because if you do, if you do, are you warning me? You can imagine. Auntie Rita. Yes. There is something that so called mother of mine is hiding. And her friend blessing is about it. Madam Sharon. What is your mom and her friend hiding? I need to find out the truth. I don't know. You yeah, don't know? Yeah, but there's something. Okay. I'll be here once you find out. I hope you'll tell me. Sure. You'll be the first to know. Mm, okay. No problem. After you. Oh, I should be. Yes, after you. Mm. I just hope this girl did not hear the conversation I was having with the mother. Anyway, what's my business? I was only telling her the truth. Jude, open the gate! You want to have go? I beg. Should you be waiting? I will think. Oh. Hey, 
Hello? Mary. Mary, I just saw Ben in your streets. Hey, 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 hey. Come back. Look at this fool. She just called the phone on me. Is, 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 is the gate locked? Is, 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 is the door locked? You can go and ask the gate, man. Um. <sighs> anyway, what's my business? When the time comes, she'll be the one they will disgrace out of her matrimonial home. Look at this food I'm even trying to help. She just called the phone on me. Rubbish. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this cannot be possible. Ben in my street? What, what is he even doing here? What is he doing here? Baby, don't say. Are you serious? But why now? Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Uh -uh. Mama, you are here? What's up? I'm just wondering, man. My husband never told me you're coming. Uh, but, but, it's, but it's fine. Uh, you're welcome, man. Madam, good wife. All this talk that is just coming out of your mouth. You cannot even offer me seat. You cannot say, Mama, sit down. I did not ask you one single question. Did I ask you anything? Did I say anything? And look at the way you are running your mouth. Believe me, without offering me sit to sit down. Before all these stories, which I did not even ask you. Did I ask you any question? I just walked into my son's house. Did I say anything? Ah, Mama, you are welcome. Let me enter. Hey, get away, I'm still talking. Simone, you didn't give me any bag. So, I, yes. Uh, Mama, sorry, you're welcome. Let's, let's, let's help me. Help me do what? Did I tell you I don't have hands or legs? Help me do what? It's okay. Yeah? Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mama, it's okay. Uh, don't just... So how is everybody? How, how is your... How is Papa? How is everybody? My, My lovely husband. He is fine and doing well. Very healthy. I'm taking care of him. Feeding him very well. And everybody at home, perfect. We're all doing good. And as for my coming here, my son knows. Um, my husband knows you're coming here. My son knows. Well, he never told me. I just finished speaking with him on the phone and he never said you're coming. And that was because my coming here has nothing to do with you. It is none of your business. It does not consign you in any way. Okay? Mama, please. Please, I am not ready for you. I'm not ready for your trouble. Please don't even start with me. Don't start, I beg. Since you already called you. That's all you're good at. That is all you're good at, Madam IB. The, the least you can do is to offer me water to do, but you cannot. I, everybody knows you about that. You people can at least testify. Everybody, all of you saw her walked out on me. When I've not even finished, I still have a lot of things to say. She did not offer me water. She didn't could not give me a glass of water to drink. Something that I have plenty in my house. I have fridges, I have coolers, I have everything. Water everywhere. But this girl cannot offer me a glass of water to drink in my son's house. And yes, she calls herself a good wife. When I run running mouth, you cannot do anything. You walked out on me. 
Don't worry, when my son comes back, I will let him know who you are. Of course, I will tell him. And he, of course, you know what he will do. Nonsense! Who do you think you are? Madam I said, who do you think you are? What can you do? Eh? Walk out now. I am here. I'm not going anywhere. Yes. Mama. Um, let me epicare your body. Makari. If I slap out this... Oh, what are you wearing in your head? What are you, what are you putting in? Get out of my sight, Biko. Get out of my sight, to Tola Papia Yana. Look at that. Who invited you? Eh? Before I can say one or two, you just jumped out from the room to come and know what I'm saying. Eh? Of course, this is my son's and I cannot be afraid, even if you plan time. I cannot be afraid of you before. I've come to see my son, and he knows I'm coming, and I'm welcomed. Whether you like it or not. But I might be you get that. And get me a glass of water to drink. Nonsense. If you like, drink. If you don't like, don't drink. Anyway, I thank God for my son. With the way things are now, I don't think we will leave your child in another man's house. And like you said, it's about 13 years or even more now. So be it a boy or girl, we need a child. And I think it is time your father gets to know about all this. No, 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 no. Not so fast. We were not even sure if she kept the pregnancy, let alone giving a birth to a child that would be alive or dead. Will you shut up? Don't utter that nonsense with your mouth again. Of course she kept the pregnancy. And the proceed of the pregnancy, which is my grandson, is alive. Nothing happened to the pregnancy, nor the birthing of the child. But I am so Sure, that is blessing that I saw. The person, it was blessing. I am, I am sure. I, I saw her. Like I, I saw her. It was close. I, I, I saw her the first time. And Mama, I am sure it is blessed. I am fully, fully sure that blessing and her friend Mary is still living in that street. It was blessing that I saw. Even though it's more than a decade, I am sure I saw blessing. It was blessing. With this, I don't think we need any more talks. We don't need further talks. We should be going to Asaba right away. And I hope I am welcomed in your friend's house. As for my friend's house, you're welcome because he's not even in town travel to Abuja for. No, 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 that's perfect. That's good. Then we should be in Asaba, and as soon as we get to Asaba, we enter the street and start asking questions, yes. So fast. Mama, do you think we need to do this? Of course I need to do this, and even more. I just pray we meet somebody who knows them because going to uh, start asking questions in this street. Shut. Sorry. Thank you. Get things ready for our journey to ourselves. Uh, I just pray we meet somebody that. Will you shut? Sorry. I have told you time with that number. Stop shedding tears. Do you have parents, you know? I need them to. What is that supposed to mean? Can I ask you something? Do I look like a day-old baby to you? I still don't get you. You will never get me. going on in this house? Mother hit her own nine months. Sharon! Sharon! I'm actually looking for number 15 Bolivar Street. I don't know if it is close. Whoa! Um, you're crying. Who beat you up? Your mom, your dad, or you fought with somebody? I'm not crying. Is that why you stopped me? Okay, uh, well, I actually wanted to ask you about a particular place, but... Okay, okay, fine. Sorry, sorry. Um, you speak well. Your voice sounds like that of my younger sister. Thank you. Can I go now? Um, 
Not, not too fast. You've not told me your name. And um, how old are you? I can't tell you my age. Come on, I'm a harmless uncle, okay? Feel free. Okay, that's okay. I can't tell you my age. So, your name? My name is Sharon. Excuse me. Sharon. What a smart cute. Yes, hello, J boy. Yes, I I need your help. My friend told me everything about you, and I'm certain you will do the job correctly. Yes, but I just want to find out how much it will cost me. Okay, I I will do a transfer to you. No, 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 no. Just uh, just the young man and the little girl. Yes, but my problem is that I don't know where to find the guy in question. Oh, okay, that, that would be good. All right, thank you very much. I'm counting on you and, I, and I'm sure you can do this for me, please. All right, thank you, bye. Listen, I've been calling you for days now. I am not taking my calls. The baby you sold to me, are they twins? Because I know I did not pay you much because you are my friend. Okay, um, can I ask you a question? Yes. Did I give you two babies that very day? I did not. So why are you asking me this kind of question? My dear, my daughter has been disturbing me. So? She keeps on saying that she has been seeing this particular girl in her dreams. They are eating, playing together, doing everything together. I'm tired. Just tell me the truth. If they are twins. Uh, but how is that my problem? My dear, you have to take her to a spiritual home. I, I think that girl is possessed. Yes. She's an Ogbanje. No, you don't have to say that. She has been seeing her in her dream every day, every day. And I think there is truth in it. Okay, anyway. As you can see, I was actually going out before you stopped me. Please, probably, maybe we'll have this conversation next time. Okay. You can just stop me and start asking because the last time I checked, I gave you only but one child. Why are you asking me if I gave you twins? Please, I did not. It's all right. Have a nice We'll see some other time. Yes, we're not looking okay. What happened? Well, uh, I, 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 there's, there's this girl I came across today. A girl? Yes. Uh, I was was actually looking for uh, a street, so I, I ran into this little girl. She's very beautiful, within the range of 12, 13. Okay. You know, she was actually crying. Crying? Yes, I, I... I tried talking to her, but she didn't give me that attention. But Mama, when she left, there is this connection, this strong connection that I, I stood there and was staring at her walk away. I, I feel she is my blood. Benson, I know we want to see and meet our child. Okay, this, this child you are, is a girl you're talking about now. I hope we didn't see someone that looks like your kid sister and then assume the child is yours. No, Mama. Even from the way she speaks, her voice sounds as similar as that of Vivian. Okay. Did you ask her her name, where she lives, where she came from? Or, you know, try to find out if she 
has any connection with the Mary you told me about? Yes, I, I tried to familiarize with her, but she wasn't giving me that attention. The only thing she told me was that her name is Sharon. Sharon? Okay, we'll have to work with the name. We'll, we'll go ask some people about the name and see if anybody can direct us or link us to her or to know where she came from then. Oh, my connection was strong. The connection was really, and, and, really and strong. Talking about connection, if you come in contact with someone like if I meet her, I will know if she's your child or my grandchild or not. So we need to meet the girl. So it's all right, Mama. It's okay. Yes, let's go. So she's beautiful as Vivian. An angel. I must she's find her. Beautiful. I must find her. If I see her, I will know if she's my granddaughter. Amazing. This is so amazing. They don't find your face about this good news for us. Okay? You have to be positive. Yeah. I just, I just promise you. We have to, we have to. In that case, Sharon, your daughter, is an evil child. I'm confused here. And why are you confused? Because she told me she sees this girl constantly in her dream who calls her her twin. Does that make her an evil child? Mary, but you just confirmed to me that she has been seeing this very girl. Not once, not twice. <laughs> that means she a twins? Or is there something you're not telling other people, even me, your girlfriend? How can you say that blessing? You know my daughter more than I do because I fainted in the level room. Maybe that's not what we should be talking about because I know your daughter is not twins. She's not. Lady, uh, please get, may, may I talk to you? Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, you look like someone I, I've met somewhere. Uh, really? Yeah. Are you blessing? Uh, blessing. Uh, blessing. What are you doing here? Blessing. You are taking me to Mary right away. Exactly. Blessing. Why would I take you to Mary's house? I thought you told me that you've seen your daughter and her name is Sharon. And what about that? For crying out loud, you guys are stressing me. Who is stressing you? The both of you! Hey, hey, listen, I am not here for questions and answers. You're taking me direct to Mary. It's non negotiable. Uh, really? Are you not Mary's friend? So? What's the meaning of all this? Excuse me, young lady! Me? Excuse me! Is Mary not your friend? Is she not your friend for goodness sake? I wouldn't want to. Go. Then you have to take him to her. Don't let me go hard on you. Mr. Benson, enough of all this! You don't enough want of... Go into that car. Take her, to, take her inside the car. Don't let, let me go hard on you. Take a step and no, let her let's go. No, 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 no. I'm trying to reach my lawyer and he's not even picking the call. And just go with her. Wait. I'll... Make sure. Don't make any mistake. As soon as she enters, press down the button. Let me go to, to my lawyer. I will give you a call. I'll give you a call. I will give you a call. I don't know why he's not picking. Drive! I'll call you! I'll call you, son! I'll call you! Can you just wait for any keke or something? Why is this guy not picking my why is my lawyer not picking my calls? I said, I said, come back here! What is this? What is this? Why won't you let me be? I need an explanation. Okay? Explanation to what exactly? I told you Sharon is our daughter. What else do you want to hear from me? What is it? You lie. Oh yes, you lie. There is something you need to tell me. Oga! Oga! See people. They say, okay. Oh, they are coming and follow me. Listen. 
what are you what are you doing here and who is this man what is he doing in my house your wife is in a position to explain that mary who is this man who is this man and what is he doing in my house i'm here for my daughter sharon is my daughter Fateful night. I have not been able to father a child. Mary. What, what is he talking about? This, this man just said that Sharon, our daughter, is his. What, what, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? Tell him the truth! What should I get her from this mess? How do I even tell my husband that I I went clubbing? Got drunk and was raped. And at the end of the day, I got myself pregnant. How do I tell him that? Mary, stop complaining. Hey, stop complaining so we can figure out what to do. Ben said he's not ready to father a child now. And you don't want to remove the pregnancy. Please, let's do something for him before your husband finds out. If your husband should come back and find that you're pregnant, you know he's not going to take it lightly with you. Please, let's figure out something. Please. Listen, I don't know what to do. I don't have an idea of what to do. I don't know. Hey, please. You should know what to do. Let's figure out something. Huh? Let's remove the pregnancy. Remember, you're a married woman. This can actually ruin your marriage. Please. Let's do something fast. Please. <laughs> Sorry. You'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, please. You'll be okay. I promise you that. We will definitely figure out what to do. Sorry. <laughs> What truth are you talking about? What truth exactly do you want me to say? What? Can you just open up to your husband? You know that hey, Sharon why, why is, is my lying? biological daughter. You know that. Why is she pretending as if she doesn't know what we're talking about? That's the truth. Baby. Wow. I'm super happy. I'm super happy that you're carrying my child and very soon I'll be a father. Mm. <laughs> super happy, baby. I love yeah. you. I love mm. you more. <laughs> <laughs> but baby, come to think of it. Yeah. How come the test result shows that you're six weeks pregnant and I've been away for two months? Um, no, baby. The the test is actually ten weeks, not not six weeks. I think that was a mistake. It's ten weeks. Oh, it it must be because I was just worried. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's ten weeks, baby. Mm. Mm. I love you. I love you more, baby. I love you more. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for the tummy to stop popping. <laughs> oh my god! But it, it it it's gonna be a baby boy. 
No, I want a girl. A boy, babe? Mm-mm. Okay, how about a boy and a girl? Ah, <laughs> that's too much for a start, baby. No, 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 right? no, no. Yeah. I am as confused as you are. Honestly, I don't... I don't know what to do. I don't. My wife is treating our own daughter as if she's a step daughter. I remember vividly when Dr. C said, Sharon is not your biological daughter. So what now? Honestly, I'm confused. I love Sharon so much. She looks like, she looks like me. Yeah, yeah though she looks like a mother more, but I believe she carries my blood. Yes, I can feel it. Sharon is my daughter. But the way my wife is treating Sharon is what I cannot understand. And this really reminds me of what my mother told me years back. Your mother? Yes. What could that be? That I should not ever think of having my own children. Away. God. God. Hey, you. Mike. Take that Mike. Dog, sorry. I take it. Sharon, Sharon is not my daughter and my... What? My wife confirmed to that. That Sharon is not your daughter? Sharon is not my daughter. After 13 good years... What, what am I going to do? I'm finished. I don't really understand. Sharon is not your daughter. How dare you! <laughs> How dare you! No, no, you need to come. How dare you! Wait, 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 you have to come. Hey, don't, 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 don't take the law into it. Okay, get out. Please, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, it's I okay. understand how you feel, okay? That's the truth. You just need to calm down. Hey, okay, but let me calm. Bless him. You betrayed me, bless him. And the babies were twins. The babies were what? Twins! What? So, yeah. and, and what, what, what happened to the other one? I sold the other one to a friend. Bless him! You sold, you sold my Bless baby! Bless him! You sold my baby! Hey, what? No, no. You sold my baby! Miss, Mr. Man, Mr. Man! I, I, I don't have to what? You sold my... It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay! It's too bad. It's okay, what? it's okay. See, there, there is only one way to solve this issue. Bless him, Ned! You understand, there is only one way to solve this issue. We have to go to the police station. She saw yeah. my baby and you said we'll go to the police? How? What would the police do? Where is my baby? You don't have to kill her! You don't have to kill her! It's okay! Oh. It's okay! Kevin, we have to go to the police station. You understand? I have to take up the case from here. You don't have to kill her. You, you have to close to the police station. There is more you need to tell us about the babies. You understand? It's okay. She's okay. She sold. Mrs. Kevin, 